If you've ever worked with a professional camera, you know that footage needs to be converted from log to standard Rec. 709 for monitoring and color grading purposes. The process of converting your log color space from the camera's color space to your display's color space is called Output Display Transform. Before color space transform, your footage is in the camera's native color space. That means it follows the color science rules and regulations set by the camera manufacturer. Camera color spaces are commonly referred to as scene-referred color space and any adjustments done to footage in the camera's color space before converting them to Rec. 709 are called scene-referred workflow. After your input display transform, your image is contained in a standard Rec. 709 color space. Since this color space's primary objective is to make sure the image looks well-adjusted, saturated and perfectly contrasted for your displaying device, it's also called display-referred color space. Any adjustments done in this color space are hence referred to as display-referred workflow. Colorists and film professionals prefer grading in scene-referred color spaces because camera log and RAW were invented to capture stuff for more flexibility and dynamic range, camera color spaces or scene color spaces are designed to be bigger and wider. It naturally makes sense to manipulate the image in a bigger color space before the data is converted to a smaller one. Let's take a quick look inside DaVinci Resolve to see what I mean by this. Here's our footage. It's shot on red cinema camera. Let's go ahead and apply a color space transform in which we are going to convert our color space from a display color space from a scene-referred color space to a display-referred color space, Rec. 709. Let's try to increase the grain post-Rec. 709 conversion, grab a still and cut-paste the adjustment before the color space transform node. As you can see, even a harsh gain adjustment before color space transform renders a well-balanced image and doesn't blow the highlights out of proportion. Having a bigger color space and transforming it into a smaller color space was not a problem until we started shooting with multiple cameras. The problem arises when you are shooting your feature film on three different cameras and all of a sudden the color adjustments you made for your red footage render a different output when applied to your Sony camera footage. To sort out this headache, in 2014 a couple of color scientists at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences came up with a standard scene-referred color space called ACES. Soon after the launch of ACES, industry was quick to adopt its new professional scene-referred workflow. Later, we would see teams at Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve coming up with their own color space called DaVinci White Gamut. Now, it naturally makes sense for this standard color space to exist between camera color space and output color space. Hence, there are two major components of any standard scene-referred color space. Input Display Transform, a line of codes that converts your camera color space into ACES or DaVinci Wide Gamut, and then Output Display Transform that converts your footage from ACES or DaVinci Wide Gamut to Display Color Space, Rec. 709, HDR, P3 Gamut. Here's the super cool part about this. You can make all your creative adjustments in this super wide color space and save it. And you can apply it across footage shot on an unlimited set of different cameras and output it to an unlimited number of display requirements. And your creative adjustments will look visually same throughout different cameras and display devices. You no longer have to manually sit down to adjust or match hundreds of shots from different cameras to look visually the same. This opens a whole new world of creative possibilities. The whole creative LUT and plugin world is now shifting to standard scene-referred color spaces. As a matter of fact, we have designed our current film tool and plugins for scene-referred workflow. We recently launched our scene-referred film plugin that is designed to mimic Kodak's Vision 500T and Kodak 2383's combined effect with the option of Cineon output with 95% accuracy in DaVinci Wide Gamut. Make sure to check it out on our website. The link is in the description. Stay tuned for further color plugin launches. It's going to be a pretty exciting year ahead. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram at Colorist Foundry. Until next time.